Welcome back to the channel. I'm sorry, Rich Kira, but today we are looking at Alien 13. It just came out on PS Plus. Obviously, it's been out for a number of years and it's had a few updates. Most notable, it appears to be, for most people are saying, is that it's more difficult now, but I guess that's really a subjective, subjective look at it. And it depends on what difficulty you set it at. And let's go to the brightest. So there we're doing the brightest settings. So we're just gonna jump in and see if we can create something interesting with this game. It looks really amazing. We're gonna be playing with this white wolf and it's grinning later in the week. But today we're gonna look at creating our character. And what I want to be able to do is see if we can create a I guess support medic build. Most of these games require quite an aggressive uh, assault type build um really get screens gone with the demolisher because that works that works it's it's an aggressive game it's especially if you're playing it solo you seem to be able to handle your fights on a solo basis and that's the problem with playing more support healer characters when you are in a kind of solo run of a campaign is that it makes things a lot slower at least if not more difficult but if we can create something that kind of fits both that can be a healer and supporter with the ability to handle a fight as well that would be pretty awesome and this game looks pretty damn good um the whole of october i was hoping for like a horror kind of rpg uh, to really get my teeth into and I, I like i think this could be the one this could be really good so we're going to start up and we're going to see if we can do we'll go through a tutorial on how to play the game and if you have PS Plus, obviously this is free to you. I was, I'm not going to lie, I was quite tempted to create Sigourney Weaver. Because, I mean, come on. <laughs> if you're going to play Alien and you want to be the medic in Doctor, and, and uh, yeah, you probably would go Sigourney Weaver, but we'll just go with our normal... There's a lot of options. Speaking of, let's, let's see if we can actually build Sigourney Weaver quickly. So, let's see if we can get... Okay, that's a little offensive. So maybe... Okay, we're going to have to probably go with either that or the full-on fire engine one there. And she normally has something along the lines of a little sort of bob. I guess. I don't think... I mean, that's... Okay, that's... She might do that occasionally. Not quite. Ne nearly. 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 Okay. I don't know, yeah, that's probably as close as that will get. Uh, is she blue eyed? I thought she's the blue or green, isn't it? Can't believe if she's blue or green. I'm gonna go with green. Voicing. Running a bypass. Stay frosty. Semper Fi. Anytime and raw. Not jump another key. I got your back. Let's rock. Anytime, anywhere. Charge in the deck. <laughs> no, she's definitely number three, isn't she? Yeah, I think this kind of works. It's not... Let me change the face. Here we go. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Okay, the faces! I'm not... <laughs> in a game called Alien, the faces are really not helpful. <laughs> Possibly number eight, I think. Especially with the little button nose, I think. That's as close as we're going to get. It's going to look like a super young, non-freckly Zagorny Weaver. Basically, is what we're going with. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I am so sorry, Zagorny, if you... Uh, as much as I love Avatar and I love Alien, I love previous films, which on like Evolution and, and... Yeah, we'll go with that. So this is the story. It's where... On board the UAS Endeavour. My parents were scientists. They taught me biology is war. To win, a species must endure, reproduce, survive. Ooh. The foes we're about to face evolved to win at all costs. They don't care about their losses. So long as they're the last ones standing. Yeah. It looks very, feels very appetizing, isn't it, Alien? Adaptable and tenacious as any marine, but they lack our purpose, our conscience, and our mercy. Okay, so being introduced to the enemy 
40th Marine Expeditionary Here we go. Unit. This fight is not a simple bug hunt. Know our enemy. Know your strengths. Work together and live to fight another day. Cool. Or you can Colonel skip the cutscenes if you want. That's off. useful if you have played this before and you're not that interested. I, I'm going to be very interested in the story, for sure. Right, so that's melee. So right stick melee. Okay, let's do a quip throwable and then uh, I'll do the fire it. Cool. Here we go. So we get a rifle. We get assault rifle. It's a dive roll. That's good. Uh, and this doesn't look like we can get weapons, they're just people. This is the hub area with the main dock, so this is where we will probably be able to do most of our customization and loadout changes. So that'd be cool to go see through different weapons. Uh, we can run, good, let's take a sprint. Whatever that is. It's kind of cool. Overclock. That's like an ability, we do lots more damage, I guess, or fire a lot quicker. Uh, ch 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 reloading a square, cool. So we, oh, it's a shotgun, the rifle. Okay. How's the assault rifle? Ooh, that's more of an SMG, but, but like it. Oh, okay. It's pretty accurate as well. Reload is pretty quick. That's a good point. Let's look at... So we've got the M4-1A2 pulse rifle. The MC M373 pump shotgun. We do get a handgun as a magnum. Nice. I like a magnum. And we get the smart gun, which looks like you would jack your car up with it. That's pretty awesome. I do like a heavy gun as well. Uh, attachments, cool. Consumables, challenge cards. There's a lot you can do. We can do outfits. This is good to know. So we have demolisher, dock, gunner, lancer. We're probably going to snag shoot dock. I don't know how I actually equip that. It's not letting me right now. I think we have to go somewhere in the hub to do that. And then we have our information as well for quests or missions. We're going to talk to First Lieutenant Sandos. We got woke by a distress call. A Dr. Tim Hanukkah and a Mayday. Okay, so that's how you start a mission. Let's have a quick look around the hub before we go into that. Because it's a pretty big area for somewhere that doesn't seem to have a lot that you actually do. A lot of people you can't talk to. Okay, so here we go. Marine regist registry. What can we do with that? We can talk to those people. Okay, look, what, what does this do? Is this where we choose stuff? Casualty reports, nothing. Oh, okay. Interesting. You're talk to this guy. Santa. Salute. That's it. What's this guy do? I hope I Medic? No. Uh. Okay. Okay, so there's people you can talk to. There's people doing things. Probably gonna take the next, like, a billion hours to fix that one welding. Playing poker. Oh, wait, can we see what card? No, they're not actually playing. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna help them cheat. That'd have been funny. And there's the arm. Oh, the armory, yes. That's probably where we want to be the most. Uh, I seem, I'm guessing you can buy and upgrade weapons because you can buy attachments. So, okay, we can't do anything with her yet, but this looks like... Here we go. <laughs> so you can well, requisition supplies to see the special stock. Is it legal? I mean, if it's illegal, I can get no uh, here we go. Here we go. Lots of different types of weapons. That's good to see. SMGs. Flame, uh, flamethrowers. Because aliens hate fire, we, we that's just a given. DMR rifle, cool. DMR burst rifle, yeah. Okay, I'm up for that. And the heavy assault rifle. I'm liking the look of the bombard. I like a, a burst fire gun. I might try and get that at some point. Perks as well, and consumables, sentry, sentries as well, good. Traps, things like that, that's very cool. Good, so it's a good selection of weapons. That's good to know. Especially in RPG where, I mean, you never we end up just using one gun, maxing it out, and then just farming through enemies with that. And there is there is something to be said for that. It means you can build a character that's very unique and around that gun. And uh, like I say, I like a burst rifle because you have that mid 
to close range options. Uh, it's very easy to control recoil as well, especially if you can time your trigger finger with the burst fire as well. So let's jump into this then to rescue Dr. Tim Honecker. There's always a chance to see or the station, find Hanukkah and extract them. Okay. Staff Sergeant Herrera will be the voice in your ear. Okay, Still so that's guys, the tutorial lady. You might want to talk to Herrera before you deploy. Okay, Herrera. You to find Herrera. That wasn't the armor person I spoke to, was it? I don't think so. Where will I find this Herrera person? Do you think? Oh, of course, they're right there. Of course they are. Of course they're right next to hey, where I'm supposed to be. Short version. What, you're on the tip of the spear. I'll be in the drop ship yep. with LTK. Right. You listen to what I say. I'll get your ass out in the So you don't deploy with us? No. <laughs> nope. Better me than some butter bark on Fully get out. Yes. Doesn't come into the fight. In a drop ship on Overwatch. When we ain't got air superiority. I'm dirt side in an APC. When things have really gone to shit. Okay, what kind of ship is this? So the Endeavor? Titan class. The Endeavor's a Tianxin class assault ship, cutting edge. Tianxin class, okay. Fleet. Built at Wilches Station, commissioned in 2194. 2194, wow. It's amazing to think that's less than 200 years from now. That's what, 170 years. From now Remember it's kind of mad that's Kostoga like two well, we're about three times long size, human lifetimes like if two people lived to be lives. like 90 years old then we would be in 2194 pretty much that's insane who's uh, esther yeah we spoke to her an android she's a medical corpsman science advisor electronic warfare tech and mflc that's a military okay. and family life counselor Fancy way to say okay. Well, this is a matter of mother computer keep this ship running. She doesn't normally deploy <laughs> mother computer. <laughs> cool. Let's do this. All right, let's go do this mission. So these missions priority one. The first mission. So there's not really a straight up tutorial. Oh, we can go to settings. That's good. So we can do Wireless control controls. Oh, can you do... Oh, here we go. So you can change the bindings. I probably will at some stage. Cover X, mantle roll. Do I like this? Kit ability, roll ability. Might swap those two around. Possibly. Oh, they've got the interact and reload on the same button as well. That's really... That can be really annoying. If you <laughs> Apex fans out there... How good would it be if you could actually change that? God, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Oh, it's all we want. It's all we, want. we don't need legends. We don't need weapons. We just want to change the reload interact button. That's all we need to do. That's all that game needs. Locations, activate radial. Wait, that's radial? Oh, but then of course you have to aim to shoot, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, so there's no hip fire. There is no hip fire in this game. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. This is one. I'm happy for the moment. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably edit that as we go. It's not really a graphics menu. Change brightness. That's it. <laughs> wow, what a graphics menu. Uh, okay, cool. So damage flow. So you can see when damage for the health bars. Uh, okay. A lot of options here. Priority target health bars. Kill confirm. Yes. Need that. I should track a pink audio. Hmm. Show difficulty in HD. <laughs> Just to remind you how screwed you are. Uh, mission info. Actually, that's kind of useful to remind you what you're supposed to be doing. But again, I want this to be as immersive as possible. So I don't want to clog up the HUD. And you can hide the HUD. Okay, we will check that out in level. We'll see what that, uh, whether that gets rid of your health bar and everything. Or if it's just the map and stuff. Let's see what happens. Poker with Tico, she never folds. Bring me back something nice. Okay. So let's go in and play about with the options and see how we can customize this. Apparently I'm still a gunner. When do I get to choose? Can I change it and load out? Can I change my... Oh, here we go. So it's green went with Demolisher. We're currently the gunner. 
which gives you rifle slot and the shotgun, overclock and frag grenade. Overclock uh, increases rate of fire pretty much, and that's pretty much it. But then it is a gunner, so I guess that makes sense. Frag grenade, obviously, you get. Demolisher gets uh, some micro rockets and a blast wave, and he gets the heavy slot, he gets the weird carjack scaffolding rifle gun. So you have blast wave, knocks people back, which is good. I like that, especially if you're fighting waves of horde to throw down a blast wave and give yourself a bit of space, that's pretty good. And then hit them with the impact rod hits, that's pretty good. Technician, you get sentry turret. Again, good for waves of enemies. When I was playing Deep Rock Galactic, the sentry turret tanky build was definitely what I went with, and it worked really, really well. Charge coils. That's like a fence. Okay. So slow down. Okay. The doctor is what we are looking to be. Healing support and defensive. Trauma station. So you heal people and it also gets combat sims. Every marine is a combatant first. So you still get the rifle. You get a handgun and a rifle. Okay. Not sure how I feel about that. It makes sense. Not sure how I feel about that. The combat sims... They also enhance the performance of a combat cocktail combat sims. I'm really interested to see how that works. You buff, you add buffs. Is that just to your or also your team? That'd be interesting to find out as the evening. Cool. And then the phalanx. Okay, we have another tank. So this is the other tanky option, I guess. Ring phalanx is named for capsule shields. Ah, so it's like a right shield. As one arm. So you have a shield and handgun. And you can use the shock pulse. Okay, so that's super defensive. If you're restricted to just the handgun, though, I don't know how strong that's going to be. If you're going to a horde, you are just going to get swarmed, I think. Um, the lancer. So you get a particle lance. So it's like a melee weapon by the looks of it. Hmm... And you, yeah, you can trade speed for attack. So offensive tank, defensive tank, medic. So I'm going with the dock, obviously. And it looks like, yes. So what I wanted to do was build a medic that's also possibly aggressive. But what we have is a defensive medic here. But this, with the combat sims, if that does buff your speed and attack... And then that would be pretty awesome. Trauma station, we'll have to figure out what the range of that is. And if that's something you have to interact with, or if it's an automatic drone healing type uh, ability. Because that, that could be pretty dangerous, that if you can just constantly heal and buff, it could be pretty unstoppable. Which is kind of what I did in the Remnant, my first build, where it was just like, you could heal faster than the damage you took. And effectively, you just couldn't die. So let's try that. And we've got Magnum handgun. Oh, it's some just kind of hunt. Okay, so we have all the attachments. Change the paint colors. That's nice. Cool. So it's very customizable. You can definitely make it your very own kind of thing. That just looks like that's wrong. <laughs> what the hell is that? Is they? Did the bird, the bird just crap on my gun. Like what? <laughs> Why? That, that's that's awful. And you got loads of attachments. We're gonna have to buff the, the hell out of these guns. If this is, it's a single shot. And that's the presets. Okay. Right, accuracy eighty three, stability sixty two. So it's a pretty heavy three nine six damage, heavy firing, kind of gun. Eight shots. Oh wow, there's a lot to this game per weapon. Let's have a look at the pulse rifle. So yeah. Right. I'm hoping we can get a DMR with that. I think that would work really well because the dock is going to have to hang back a little bit behind the team. So there'll be more kind of mid to long range, I feel. Uh, oh, you can change the... No, we stick with the hair. The hair is cool. Stick with the hair. Base appearance. Oh, you can go back. You can change it pretty much any time. That's really good to see. And uh, no, we like the wings. 
you like the angel wings? Abilities, consumables, do we have any on me at the moment? No, we do not. These are combat things and abilities. Oh, we can. There is a skill tree for different ones. We have the field medic tr shield tree. Recharge ability. Recharge speed increased by fifteen percent. And pick up an air eat kit restores a portion of trauma station's energy. So if you max that out, then this will come back super quick. Limited supply of healing can be picked up and redeployed. So you can move it. That's cool. And it does heal automatically in range. So you could, yeah, do a perpetual heal build or combat sims. Accuracy and stability, stamina regen, and movement speed. So it's all about mobility as well. I'm not sure how in gun sort of gun focused games that have small areas like spaceships, corridors, things like that. This is less. I was hoping it would like increase fire rate maybe or something, but or but it's just accuracy, stability. So I suppose for your heavy gunners that's quite good. For the handgun it might be quite good. Um interesting. I think I'm probably gonna prioritize these two. To build um a character that can basically just constantly heal. As opposed to accuracy and stuff. I'm not I don't think accuracy is really such a problem already in this game. I don't feel like that's a problem. Movement speed, I guess, useful. Stamina regen, probably quite useful with the rolling. And if that enables your allies... Is this about allies? Yes, you only want allies. You can enable your allies to roll a lot more, which will be very, very useful, I suppose. And he's, yeah, it's the perk system. Okay. I feel like we understand a lot of the game now. Yeah, a lot of uh, emotes. Cool. Can we demonstrate? Yeah, there we go. Pointing. Okay. Oh god, that's cool. Cool. So get emotes. As well. Right, so... Let's do this. I think we are now officially ready to go. And learn how to play this game. Standard difficulty. Enemies are highlighted while aiming down sights. Okay. Plenty of time to revive down teammates and synthetic teammates are effective enough to complete missions. Options are casual, standard, intense, extreme, and insane. I think this is what people were talking about with the updates to making it more difficult. Uh, as a first time player of the game, we'll probably stick with standard. And, and we'll see how that goes. If we want to go up to intense, we'll think about it. See what the other two guys want to do as well. Challenge cards. Okay, we don't have any, I don't think, at the moment. Uh, you can have crossplay as well, so that's good to know. There is crossplay in this game. Let's see what happens if we jump in then. Does it automatically try and find teammates or just waiting for players? Oh, okay, so is it meant it's meant to be played with other people? For the purpose of this video, I think we're just going to do solo. Because I need to learn how to play the game. And I don't want to screw a lot of other people either. Great, great. So we can select the challenge card. We haven't got any at the moment. I've done all of this. Combat rating 155. And the recommended combat rate is 150. So we're above that, so we should be okay. We've got some synthetic guys. Looking for the scientist. Dr. Tim Honeka. Huenica. Huen, as in Pokemon. Ica. Don't think it's that kind of professor, though. We learn your tiny, your tiny scientist. Okay. There's a lot of lore in this, obviously, because of the, the films, the comics, everything like that. Mount up, people. Okay. Not sure what happened there. I had to go out, go back in again, go public, private, reset it, basically, and it seems to have worked now. So let's crack on with priority one ingress. I don't know if anyone else experienced that. I don't know if it's a bug or just a matchmaking issue where if you just wanted to play solo, yeah, it wouldn't let me in, and then I had to just 
go public, go private again. Went to public, queued, jumped out the queue, went back to private, effectively solo with Alpha and Beta, our synthetic ones, twins. Plus 30% recharge because I am near my teammates. So that's cool. So if you work as a team, ability comes back quicker. Cool. Let's have a look at the handgun. Not sure I like the crosshair. Okay, so that's the HUD. So if we turn off the HUD, how much do we lose? That's what I wanted to know first of all. Uh... Where is... There is hide HUD. So if I hide HUD... Oh, wow. See, I like this kind of gaming because it's very cinematic. It feels very kind of trailer-esque. Obviously, you don't know how much health you have. So that's pretty cool. So obviously, we'll, we'll add it back to see... Obviously, how much damage I take from enemies. And then once we've kind of got a good idea of how much damage they can do itself, I might turn it back off and go for that experience. But for the moment, let's just see what it's like. So you get told about the 30% recharge, your, I think is that ammo? No, 3000, I'm not sure what that is. The charge, possibly, ability charge. I have combat sims and we have the trauma thing. We have the quick thing, which I haven't equipped anything to just yet. Uh, we have a heals as well. So we can't go this... Can we go this way? No. No, we can't go this way. No. So we're going this way. It's very dark. We've got a head torch on. Got the medic pack on the back. I believe that is the trauma station. And we'll go find some aliens. Alright, team, let's go. Let's go. Just emergency lights. Then maybe we can kick the backup power after we grab Hunnaker. Interesting. So we have a uh, suit over here. Oh, is this synthetic suit guy? They like what we've got. So they kind of sit in these these kind of charge station pods before they come and join you. It doesn't appear to be a map, but we do have a radar. So I guess you're going to follow the radar. Can't go in there. So the radar obviously is sending me this way. Interesting, it's not a map. But I guess, unless you. Okay. That's not terrifying. Patch into the console. I'll pull it down over wireless. Okay. I can, this is a very cluttered hot HUD. I can see why you have the option to hide because it is quite cluttered with the 30% recharge thing, the 3000, whatever that is. You've got obviously your teammates' health, your health, your loadout, radar, a patch in here. I wonder if it'd be interesting no, without the HUD then, do you just the sort of, in terms of taking damage, we'll see if the screen changes like blood red, sometimes it goes like blood red, or like you're gonna die, or fuzzy. Our men be in the junction ahead. That would be cool, to make it more immersive. Because that's what kind of horror sci-fi games need to do best, is immerse you in the environment, in the crazy kind of alien world. I think that's very important. This game does seem to do that. Ooh, what can we do here? Oh, it's cover. <laughs> okay, I thought we could like push that along. Okay, so if there are cover points, that tells me possibly some enemies. Okay, typical over-the-shoulder third-person shooter. Okay, so if you're near one person, so 15% recharge buff, near both you get to 30%. Lots to go. There's not a lot of looting, it is it is very much tried to redirect your focus to the task at hand. Which is good. That is good, you won't be too distracted by just farming for items, for crafting and such. Should be right here. Okay, this looks a bit ominous now. We've got 
Some uh, a med kit. Blood. Oh, enemies coming. Oh wow. Okay. I might up the sensitivity a little bit. Let's try a handgun. Handgun is pretty incredible. Not gonna lie, handgun's pretty good actually. In a game where if everything dies by headshot, handguns can be really fucking effective. Really effective. I'm liking the handgun. Haven't need to heal. <laughs> um, again, I do need to try and take some damage and see how strong these aliens are. So we have, we have a little plasma bolt cutter. Uh, I think we're getting attacked by some enemies. I think they've got it covered. There's definitely some enemies in there. I definitely heard something. 100% heard something. Here we go. I think that's kind of where we came from anyway. This, I don't like these big, wide open areas, because at least with corridors, you funnel them. Oh good, and get some ammo. Incoming. Where are they incoming from? That's... Where are they incoming from? There's a lot of noises. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, where did you come from? Oh, here we go. So the little X seems to pop up, I think, when you get the kill. Which is kind of helpful, I guess. Oh, here we go. So they can throw acid at you. So, in terms of acid damage, fairly significant. I'm not taking a great amount of damage though, so the acid does seem to do a decent amount of damage, I guess, over time, if you stay in it. So, I guess watch out for that. Obviously, I can heal. It'll be good to see... What can we do with the heal? So just pop it down. Okay, so you got to stay pretty close to it. And it heals kind of quick. I would. I think this needs a little bit of buffing. That has a limited health or amount of healing. It tells you there. That's good. Oh, so that's what the bar is. So you always know how much heal you've got left. And you can pick it up. And you can take it with you, but it remains the same amount of charge, I see. But if I'm near my teammates, it begins to recharge. That's obviously good to know. Noises seem to be coming from everywhere. I guess they're in the pipelines, in the, in the walls. Uh, makes it harder to track. Listen. Okay, again, I think we might do a little bit of... After we kill these guys, <laughs> a little bit of um, so a teammate went down there, got jumped on there. Another way, teammates. Ow. Let 
There we go. Is there, there is melee, isn't there? There we go. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll put down my thing, heal up, and then we'll go for a no HUD run. And if you still get the objective thing for that. For example, let's do that. I think I'm being attacked, but it's fine. My team's got it. We got this. Turn HUD off. Yeah, they did, but it's fine. So you still see the charge for that. You still see the objective. That's good. You still see your teammates' names. They still tell it tells you where they are. Good to know. We still get prompts. And we'll play a much more immersive experience. Apart from, I guess, the names and the objective point still kind of break the immersion. But otherwise, like, how would you know where to go, I guess, would be the argument. <laughs> if you were just exploring in a casual mode, and doing it, this would feel like a more cinematic experience, which I really like. And it's this already feels more spooky and more tense. Especially with the audio. The audio is very interesting, because a lot of walking around here not doing a whole lot. So we get the reload, we get a crate, we have found a consumable item sentry gun, which is cool. I don't think you can take cover, but I'm not, apart from the acid, which if they threw that at you, would ruin your cover anyway. Not seeing a massive need for taking cover at the moment. I don't know if that's because I'm a less defensive build, or more of a... Support build. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. But anyway, we're going to head up here. And activate. Startup sequence. Hostiles incoming. Oh, have I just alerted them all to our... Ah, it's kind of annoying. Are they going to come up both sides? Yeah, they are. This is why I like burst fire. Oh, there is hip fire. That's very useful. There is actually hip fire. And I can definitely see why it's worth doing the sensitivity. Not hip fire. Very useful. Yeah, hip fire is kind of the way forward, really. Just, just stand in front of them. Oh, getting acid burned. H2 feeds just connected. Getting there. They come to the other side now. Okay, let's go other side. Honestly, the hip fire feels like a good way of doing it. Plus the fact, I guess, you can see more. Oh my god. Okay, this is me. We may want to put that down. Shoot my teammate. <laughs> In the face. Fuck. No! <laughs> no! I'm stuck! I'm stuck! I'm so stuck! Ready to heal. If acid my heal area, that's not very good. He's dead now. No? Yep, yeah, dead. Okay. I have no idea which health my teammates have, of course. Uh, do I, how do I use medkit again? Oh, yeah, here we go. I don't need to make them fully healed by my, my drone, which is over here. Let's pick it up. So they can start to recharge while I'm near my teammates. And it has a little... Oh, wow. Where did you come from? Where did you come from? I don't know. Let's go. So there's a little button on the back. That, I don't know if that light corresponds to anything. 
But again, so hip firing I think is pretty effective. Especially with fast moving close range enemies like that. So I can see why a shotgun would be quite good. I can definitely hit <laughs> There's so many. That worries. That, that's good. It makes me feel worried that there's a big horde coming up. And this is definitely a sort of battle area, isn't it, really? this kind of situation where setting that down I've run out of ammo for that, that's a problem ammo is a problem and I've run out of charge as well combat sims, okay so that makes us move a little bit quicker also increases accuracy, so that could be interesting for hip fire. Oh no. Oh, okay, so healing takes a really long time. Healing does take quite a while. Also, really need some ammo. You're dead. He's dead. I really need some ammo. <laughs> ammo, ammo, great somewhere. That's great, but I need some ammunition. Hello, Marines. It is a pleasure to work with you. I really need some ammunition. Can I go back? Can I go back and get ammo? Because there was that ammo crate, wasn't there? Can I? No, we can't. I don't have much ammo left. I've got nothing left in the gun. Don't know how much pistol ammo I've got left. Probably not a great deal. This is looking a little bit desperate. Okay. Any more? No? Great. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, it was terrifying. Oh, I mean, I've not even found a, a face hugger yet, and that was terrifying. I mean, not looking forward to the face huggers. Oh, my God, it's terrible. I really need... Here we go. Oh, God, go away. I need ammo. Here we go, here we go. Back in business now. Back in business. Bypassing damage. Bypassing damage. There we go. I don't know if those explode. They might do. Who knows? I can hear you. It's like a basilisk. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Or not. Oh, here we go. I knew it was going to happen. I wonder if my thing's charged up enough now. Good to know they just explode on a couple of shots. Alright. Whilst we do this, I think it would be a good idea. It's not charged, is it? 
No, it's not charged up enough. Okay. Still waiting for my belly to recharge. I can hear them from everywhere. Absolutely terrifying. There are some much tougher creatures. These are just like minions as well, they're not even that strong. Can I put down my thing yet? Nope, still can't. I don't know if the light on my backpack changes to let me know when I can uh, when I can do this. Bypassing damage. Yep, can you hurry up with the bypassing damage? Let's go, let's go, let's go. So we've got to go across the other one. Don't need to heal. I'm full health at the moment. Let's go up and round. Let's go, let's go. On your toes, fire Get some ammo. Watch the vent. Ammo is definitely a, a <laughs> an issue in this game. Also, when you hide the HUD, you don't get a head up crosshair. Which is pretty interesting. So your aim just has to be where you're pointing the gun and you just hope. And a third person shooter, that's very kind of tricky. Because there's no aim down sights effectively. Like. So you do have to be a little careful with that. Ow. Kill it! Worth taking the acid damage, if you ask me. Dive rolling is pretty big. That's quite a big dive roll, and that's without the combat sim buff, actually. So that's kind of insane. Doing a lot of refill ammo in this game, a lot. So those are going to be an absolute lifesaver, the refill ammo crates. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, sci fi comedy. It was cool. Okay, big engine area. Okay. I still don't have my heal ability back, which is a bit of a worry. How do I get it back? Do I have to be near my teammates? Teammates. Wait, what are you shooting him? Oh, they're, they're chasing us now? I see. Well, I probably should prioritize the mission. Bushy Tower. This guy is deep in the ship. Deep in the ship. Oh yeah, we have our thing back now, that's good. Same deal as the generator. Expect little friends to pop out all over when this turns on. Okay. So it takes quite a long time to come back. So I guess that balances it a little bit, because I did talk about before about being able to just perpetually heal. It looks like they have effectively tried to balance that with just having a really long cooldown. Oh, here we go. So we got to activate this. And then basically set up a come. perimeter. A okay, we're going to need that to recharge. 
which would have been really useful in this situation, but... Put down a little sentry. I'm just imagining the crosshairs in the middle of my screen. That's all we can do. Tension lift, is it here? No. Let's open some crates, incendiary rounds, that's pretty cool. And another sentry gun, good to know. Ow! There we go. Also, my missed shots will kind of give me a guide on where I'm aiming, I suppose. Very hard to judge, though. It feels very spray and pray. Come away. All right. <laughs> that was necessary. I took a lot of damage. I have no heals. Takes a lot of damage. Struggle mechanic is cool. That thing can take a lot of damage. No, nope, can't heal at the moment. Take that thing down. This is definitely, I can see why this is a team effort. Because, like, the speed these things come at you at. Let's go. There we go. Woo! That's just the checkpoint. Oh my god. <laughs> that was just the checkpoint. Is that how does that work? So what you can change stuff? Mid mid mission? A lot of XP. I did terrible on kills and damage. They did I was they helped me so much, my team. I got the most specials killed though. Okay, I took the most damage as well. Is somewhere up on Katanga's mainframe decks. Oh, okay. Like he's been searching for a safe place to hide from all the Xenos. So that's one whole mission, Our but... Mission hasn't changed. Find him. Get him out alive. So if I return to base, what does that do? I can come back to this checkpoint in the mission. Must be able to. I like the cinematic no HUD mode. That was pretty cool. Um, comment if you preferred that, or if you preferred seeing... All your health, your ammo, your loadout, your ability charge, all of those things. So I guess that makes quite a bit of difference. Um, or I can go and talk to these people as well now. So you can you can complete a checkpoint, necessarily complete a mission. But it looks like you can craft items as well. I have no cards. Okay. Not sure what that does. But right. we can... Get assigned requisition. You can requisition new weapons or attachment for weapons. How about okay? Okay. A special inventory. Anything not on the racks. So what do we got? You need only have eight hundred credits, or whatever the currency is. So you need quite a lot. These are quite expensive, so you can't get too overpowered too quickly. Which I guess is is good. Special stock. So these are Let's unique weapons and items. Power. Oh, these are. Outfits, basically. For... Rep Scrip. Whatever they are. 
So we can get different outfits. Or you can preview stuff. For different classes. There's a recon class as well, which we don't have yet. Interesting. I don't know if I like that, actually, compared to my normal outfit. I quite like the winged paint. Kind of war paint. I think that looks really cool. Okay, so you can't get too overpowered too quickly. It's pretty well balanced. I can't just perpetually heal, but I'm sure with a few upgrades, we could reach that goal. And that is pretty much how you play this game, especially from a support medic point of view. In terms of fighting hordes of aliens and the start of the game, hope that helped. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, like if you did enjoy it. Maybe comment if you liked things like the cinematic view, which definitely feels more immersive, especially with the audio. I love that. And this is going to be an awesome game to play, and I can't wait to play any more. So see you on the next one. And as always, grow strong, learn fast, and always be kind.